Good morning, Wizarding World. I'm quite annoyed right now with Geek Gear. And yeah, part of it is technically my own fault for not reading things properly six months ago when I bought my first subscription box. But um, a lot more has gone on than just that. Um, so in March, I bought a six month subscription to Geek Gear's Wizardry Box, which was wonderful. I very much enjoyed it. So that was March, April, May, June, July, and August. Geek Gear subscriptions automatically renew at the end of your current one, which my fault, I was not aware of that. Yeah, that's my bad. However, all of a sudden I noticed, oh, there's like $221 out of my account that I don't remember spending. So I go and I look at it and it's a Geek Gear subscription for six more months. And I'm like, uh, okay. I decided that I wasn't gonna do more subscription boxes because there's just a lot going on in my life right now and I don't need all these things and I don't need to spend this money. I need to renew my Universal Annual Pass this month. It's what I do for myself for my birthday every year. So I need to do that. And that money that I was not going to spend on subscription boxes was going to go towards my annual pass. <laughs> well, now that money is gone. So I've been in contact with Geek Gear because I went to go log in and, and, and cancel and do everything myself. All of a sudden, I can't log in my email doesn't exist and I tried every single email I have and none, none of them exist and so I've been in contact with their support group being like the support email the help yeah whoever you contact when you need help um they and I sent them like my transaction number and everything so they could find everything and they're like hey it's under this email and I'm like great well that email doesn't exist in your system when I go into like forgot your password enter email this email is not found like this was my scenario of like I can't even get into my account to cancel things so like <sighs> mm. So anyway, this one lady was just being like a snot-nosed with her emails, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna submit a new thing because you're being a pain in the ass. So, send in a new email requesting help going, hey, like, my email's not found, like, ah, uh, I don't know, what do I do? Please help me. Um, so, so they they got everything sorted out they ended up and they were literally like okay we don't know why you can't log in because it's registered under this email we don't know why your email's not found we don't know what's going on we, it doesn't make sense so the kind gentleman went ahead and canceled my subscriptions but also clarified of like hey you know it's policy i'm so sorry that this is disappointing but like you've technically already paid for your six month subscription for the next one so like you're getting it and you can't really cancel it. So y'all get six more months of geek gear and I'm going to suffer because I'm gonna be struggling to pay my bills this month now. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's my own freaking fault. <sighs> yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very much annoyed. Anyway, that's life. That's what's going on. Be aware of what you're doing when you sign up for things. Geek Gear subscriptions renew themselves automatically. And once the money has gone through and processed, you're stuck. You're getting them. No refunds. Just be aware. <sighs> so my my next subscription is now canceled. But I will be getting six more boxes. Okay, just wanted to let you all know. Be aware of what you're doing. Be aware of Geek Gear's policies. Besides that, they're really great. I'm just annoyed right now. 
and have a great day guys thanks for watching please subscribe bye <laughs>